Hey everyone, my name is Bhanu Prakash. I am a product manager in Snowflake and I work on Snowpark. Today I am super excited to show you a demo of how to process unstructured data using Snowpark Python. So let's get to it. In this demo, I am going to show you that the data which is PDF forms is stored in an internal stage as well as in a S3 compatible storage. And then I built a directory table which is primarily a file catalog that enables you to search files, list files and whatnot. And then I have set up a stream on the directory table that will look for new files as they arrive. And then as new files arrive, I have a task that I have set up wherein I have defined the Snowpark logic in Python to process the new files. And then the process data is then ingested into a table. So with that, let me get straight into the code and show you how it works end to end. Now let's take a look at the unstructured data files. In this case, these are my PDFs. So I have a bunch of PDF files and I have already uploaded some and I'll be uploading on the fly. That will be the new files arrive, which will process using Snowpark. So here is an example sample file. Here it has last name, first name, middle name, some of the products that you want to purchase, whether you recommend this product to a friend or not, and when did you purchase the product. So this is just a sample layout for the demo. Now, let me walk you through my stage that I have set up. Here I already have a bunch of files that I have uploaded as part of my demo, which is an internal stage, as well as I have a Wasabi file storage where I have uploaded the files and then mounted as a external stage on my Snowflake account. Now, what I have done is, let's go ahead and look into the code. So as part of my code, as I mentioned, I have two tasks, one task wherein I refresh the stage, which is scheduled to run every minute. Now for external stages, you do auto refresh as well as you could do for uh, internal stages as well. But in this case, I am just uh, triggering it uh, every minute. Then I have a stream that is set up, which is enabled on this directory. And then as I upload new file, I can check in the stream if the file is arrived or not. And then this is the Snowpark code in Python which is in a user-defined function. And then as part of this, I am using primarily this new API, Snowflake file. Snowflake file is a new API that allows you to read files in a secure manner, in a as well as dynamic manner, from internal stage, external stage, or S3 compatible storage. And so I am calling snowflake file.open with the file URL, which is a scope URL in this case, and then opening in read binary mode. And then I am using this PyPDF library to primarily parse the PDF files. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a dictionary, parsing, uh, or reading it at bytes, or creating a dictionary, and then looking for the key value pairs, and then returning the whole dictionary back. And then what I have done is, if you look at this, this is the way how you will call the function using a single file and then see what the results look like. So here I have a SQL query where I say select, call my function, give the scoped URL of the PDF file, which is prod underscore review underscore one, and then it's on this PDF stage. So let's go ahead and run this. And as I run, it will show me the extracted data, which were part of prod underscore review one dot PDF. And then this is running on the same warehouse node that I am attached this sheet to. So here you see all the parse data is already available. It shows the first name, last name, middle name, product, purchase, uh, purchase date, and whether I recommend or not. So you can think about scenario where, you know, how easy it is where your unstructured data files could be in PDF, audio, video, or industry-specific format. And as an end user, you just write a SQL query to extract the information stored in the, unstru in the unstructured data files. Now, as I was talking uh, in the slides where I have created this a stream to understand the, to identify the new files as it arrives. So here, if we go back, it shows it has another task where it is ingesting the process data back to a separate table. And this is the definition where I am saying PDF ingest, it looks for whether the stream has any data or not, like the stream has metadata action where it looks for new file has arrived or not, which is defined here. 
and then it will go ahead and then insert using this insert into and then call the same PDF parse function and then specify the relative path where the files are uploaded. So for now, let's take an example here. Let's say I want to look for a particular file by after ingesting it into the state. So right now I am doing a select for all the information and then looking for a particular product file here. And I see that this file has not been ingested. So this is in my local folder. I will go ahead and ingest this file. So to ingest this file, what I will do is I will use snow site and then just upload it from here using the UI. So prod underscore review 21 and then I click on upload. So as I upload, let's go ahead and look at the stream to see if the file has been detected or not as part of the stream for new files. So as you see here, the stream detects the new file and it shows the metadata action as insert. Now let's go to my task and then see if the task has run or not. So here if you see the graph, I have the refresh PDF stage, which is one task. And then after the task, after the stage is refreshed, then I do a ingest. And all of this is running in an automated manner, so I don't have to manually run it. So if I look at the run history, and if it is executed, then my file would have been ingested. So I see that timestamp as 137 and you see this is succeeded now if I go back here and then run the same query I can I can see this file be available which was not available and I have passed it so I can see the first name last name and whatnot now let's say you know you want to look for a product all the files where the file contained the product as basketball you want to just analyze like how many basketballs were purchased so in this case I would just change this query. Let's just load this again. Looks like the browser was stuck. Let's just change this query and then say product equals basketball. And then let me go ahead and run this query. And then it shows all the different past files which where the product purchase was basketball. Now, if I take the same scenario and then run it on Wasabi file storage, which is mounted as an external stage, I can upload another set of files here. And so let's go ahead and upload file 26, 27, 28, and upload it here. And this is mounted in my another warehouse, so in my another Snowflake account. So I go back to my Snowflake, another Snowflake account. And here I would do basically the same thing and I would be able to extract the information even from an external stage which is mounted through the Wasabi storage. And so all the S3 compatible storages that we support will have the same functionality. So to wrap up, in this demo, what we saw was using Snowpark for Python, I wrote a code to process PDF, PDF files which were stored on the stage. And as part of that, I created a function to pass it and then I used a SQL query to send the file to the function where the function processed it and then it ingested the processed information in a table that I was able to later query. And as new files arrived, it was able to detect it via stream and then I could run analyt I was able to run analysis on top of it. With that, hope you enjoyed and and looking forward to more demos in the future. Thank you.